Like WhatsApp and Signal, Telegram is a free private messaging voice and video calling app. Telegram offers a lot of functionality and customization, which you might either really like or you might find a bit unnecessary. For example, in Telegram, in addition to individual and group chat sessions, you can also sign up to channels and make use of things called bots, but more on those features a bit later on. To get started, download Telegram like any other app from your mobile app store. Telegram is also available on Windows and Mac, and you can sign up using those platforms. However, most people sign up on their mobile phone and then link the app with their desktop, desktop or laptop afterwards. The registration process is straightforward. The first step is to provide your phone number to authenticate your account, and you'll then receive an SMS code to validate it's really you. You're then asked to provide a name, your surname is optional, and you can add a profile photo by clicking on the camera icon. Telegram will need approval to access your photos and your camera, and I'll use my Faculty of Apps logo. The next step is to allow access to your contacts to see if any of your friends are on Telegram, and you'll also need to allow notifications to be notified when you receive a new message or phone call. Having completed the process, you will land on your chat screen, which will display your chat history as you start to send and receive messages. Along the bottom of the screen is the main menu. Clicking on contacts will show all of your contacts who are already on Telegram. And yet again, I can see Wilson has beaten me to it, so I'll quickly send in a message by clicking on his name. You can manually create contacts by clicking on the plus button, but it's far easier to search for people or invite them to sign up. To search for someone, simply start typing their name into the search box. If you don't want people to be able to search for you, you can change this in privacy settings. To invite someone to join Telegram, click invite friend and choose them from your list of contacts. This will then send them an SMS with a link to sign up. Back on the chat screen, I can now see my chat session with Wilson. You can create a username for your account by clicking on the settings icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. A Telegram username is similar to that of a Twitter handle and you can use it to find people and also direct your messages to them in a group chat session. There are an abundance of settings in Telegram, so I won't go through them all, just some you might find useful. Saved messages are messages you wish to keep handy that you can refer back to quickly. To save a message, press on it for a second or two and choose forward from the menu that appears. You can also save media as well as messages to this folder. The devices option is where you can link your Telegram account with the desktop version of the app. On your computer, simply download the app by going to the web address desktop.telegram.org. Run through the installation process and once installed, click the option to use QR code. On the mobile app, choose devices, scan QR code, and hold your phone up to the code on your computer screen. Once connected, you'll be logged into your account on your computer. Back in settings, you can create folders to organize your different chat sessions. Here, I'll create a folder for friends and I'll add Wilson to that folder. I'll also create a folder which I'll call news and add all channels to the folder. Channels are similar to news feeds where administrators of the channel can broadcast messages to a large audience. However, unlike say Twitter, you cannot reply to a channel unless you've been given approval to do so. To search for and sign up to a channel, back on the chat screen, swipe down to reveal the search bar. Start typing your channel you're looking for and click join to subscribe. If I now go back to my chat screen, I can see the two folders I created, and if I select News, I can see the Telegram channel I just signed up to. 
Notifications allow you to change the alert settings for receiving messages and calls. For example, I can change the alert tone for incoming messages by clicking on sound. There are numerous privacy options and here is where you can set who can search for your contact details and who can see when you're connected. For example, I can change last seen and online to be only viewable to my contacts. If you send and receive a lot of videos and photos, data and storage allows you to see how much storage space those media clips are taking up. Finally, in settings, appearance is where you can set the app to use dark mode and you can change things like the background of your chat sessions. To create a chat group, click on the new message icon in the top right corner of the main window and select new group. Add the people you wish to include in your group, click next and give the group a name. Everyone you added to the group will now receive a notification. You can add additional members to your group by clicking the group name at the top of the page. And here you can also start a group call by clicking on more and start voice chat. To call an individual, simply open your chat session or click on the new message icon, choose the contact you wish to speak to, click on their profile picture and choose either the telephone or the camera icon depending on how you wish to speak to them. Lastly, Telegram offers the use of bots. Bots are automations that, among other things, can be used to add context to a message. For example, I'll message Wilson to tell him I'm watching one of my favorite movies of all time, The Goonies. I can create a link to The Goonies page on IMDB by typing at IMDB followed by Goonies. Telegram will then offer me options from the IMDB website relating to the movie. Clicking on one will create a link and send it to Wilson. And that is a quick look at how to start using Telegram. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button and hit subscribe for lots more videos like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.